Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on where you're joining us from. Hi, that, that video is just a taste of what you've decided to do when joining Penn State University. And I am so excited to meet you. My name's Jennifer Campbell, and I'm the Director of Global Operations and Learning for Penn State's Global Programs. I see now in the chat that the students are already welcoming you, class of 2024. And this is the International Student Pathway Welcome Session. We are so excited to finally meet you and greet you in this uh, digital media platform. But real quick, we've done something really special for your parents, family, and friends that are joining us as well. So we actually have another Zoom meeting for those parents, family, and friends joining us. In fact, this meeting will be offered in multiple languages like English, Arabic, Chinese, Spanish, Korean, and we also offer rooms for South Asian countries and other regions from around the world. Anyone and everyone is welcome. If you're a parent, family member, friend joining us, please make your way to this meeting and we have language support there for you. So I'm actually gonna pause right now and we're gonna take a few minutes. Students, if you can help mom and dad or friends that are joining you in this Zoom to go to the new Zoom meeting space, you can use the QR code and my colleagues have also put the link in the chat. So just go to those, click on it and make your way over to the parent meeting and I'll be right back in just a minute. Welcome to Penn State. Welcome back. I hope mom, dad, friends, and family are now making their way to that other meeting. And I hope that you've been enjoying the introduction to Penn State through the OLs welcoming you. I see all the chat going on about majors and backgrounds, but that's us, that's Penn State. That's what you signed up for. And we are so excited to have you. 
Now this welcome is designed specifically for international students. And we look forward to introducing you to key staff that are gonna help you throughout your entire Penn State journey but also give you time to meet new friends and of course meet those great orientation leaders. Now one important announcement we wanna to bring to your attention is on June 15th. June 15th, Dr. Eric Barron, Penn State President, is going to inform the entire community what type of instruction will be announced for fall classes. Now that type of instruction can take form in one of three ways. One is in-person in residence. The other is remote learning, where you would do it digitally. And finally, there could be a hybrid option. But on June 15th, we'll know more about the fall semester and how the course instruction will be designated. So stay tuned to that, visit our website, but June 15th, mark your calendars, there is an announcement coming. But let's get back to the orientation. I am pleased to introduce you to our Global Programs Leader, Dr. Roger Brindley. Dr. Brindley is the Vice Provost for Global Programs, and prior to his position, he was the Vice President for USF World at University of South Florida. Dr. Brindley has been a professor for well over 20 years, has received multiple awards, including outstanding teaching awards, prestigious nominations to APLU commissions on global learning. And just recently in 2019, Dr. Brindley led his institution to win the prestigious Platinum Award for Global Learning, Research and Service. Dr. Brindley's new to Penn State and just like you, he started in April with us and he is here to welcome you to the Penn State family. Dr. Brindley, take it away. Good morning and welcome. We're so glad that you're here with us in this new and virtual environment. My name is Roger Brindley and I'm the Vice Provost for Global Programs here at Penn State, which means that I'm responsible for overseeing all of Penn State's global engagements. Most importantly, it's my responsibility to ensure that our international students are well educated, well supported and well prepared and I take this responsibility very seriously. You and I have some things in common. As you can possibly hear from my accent, I'm also not originally from the United States. But more importantly, I'm also new to Penn State University. I came into my current position in early April in the middle of the virtual changeover. In some ways, therefore, I've never known a Penn State that was not fully online. In my brief time here, I have seen what a fantastic university Penn State is. You have truly made a wise decision to study here. The scope of Penn State's activities happening online is enormous. And it is a testament to the university's preparedness and flexibility that the system is working so well. Penn State is well prepared to deliver instruction in whatever capacity, whether that's remote delivery, in person, or a mixture of both. We've been a leader in online learning since 1998. Our world campus is ranked top 10 in the country for online teaching. Please be assured that no matter what medium you receive your Penn State education through, it is just that, a Penn State education. You will get the same quality instruction and end with the same degree whether you take your classes in your bedroom at home or in a classroom. Now, as international students, you may have concerns about this online learning. Rest assured, we will do everything in our power to make this possible regardless of your situation. Penn State is prepared to offer flexibility to you in your plan of study, as well as to provide resources to you that make sure that you can access classes in a manner that makes the most educational sense for you. This means you do not have to wake up at 3 a.m. to attend a class back in the United States. We recognize that each student has a different set of challenges, and international students have challenges too. We're here to support you. So if you ever need any kind of support, please reach out to Global Programs. 
Now, I've spent a little time talking about the current situation we find ourselves in, but I also want to look to the future. It's easy to become focused on what's happening now in the world, but it's important to remember it will not always be this way. This will pass. And in a few years, you will graduate with a Penn State degree. As I shared a little earlier, whatever the mixture of online and on-campus learning, it will make little difference to you because you will still get a Penn State degree, a degree that has high global value. You see, Penn State has the highest alumni network in the world. Over 170,000 members worldwide. Penn Staters are a family a family with far-reaching ties. Our career services office is adept at helping you prepare for success in the global marketplace, and they will be offering you a wide range of programming and resources to help you towards a great career after graduation. A Penn State degree also offers you the potential for huge achievement. Penn State was ranked as the number one institution in the United States for producing the best prepared and well-rounded graduates who are able to succeed once hired. That comes from the Wall Street Journal. And did you know that Penn State is the number two producers of CEOs in the United States? Harvard was number three. All of that is to say a Penn State degree will prepare you for life after graduation. We here at the university and in global programs are here for you and to help you along your Penn State journey. I welcome you and congratulate you on beginning this journey with us. Thank you, Dr. Brindley, for your leadership in this important time. We have also invited a few of your current domestic and international students who have decided to support you in your journey to becoming a new Penn Stater. These students, like you, have decided to engage their academic journey with a top 1% global institution. It is my honor to introduce you to Lexi LaRegina, a rising senior joining us from her home here in Pennsylvania. Aphrodite Biswas, a rising junior, and she is joining us from her home in India. And last but definitely not least, Nofal Murtaza, who is joining us from Indonesia, a rising junior. Lexi, kick us off. Thank you for inviting us here today, Jennifer. I just wanted to take a moment to say how excited we are to have you all join our Penn State community. My time at Penn State has truly been enriched through my interactions with international students. This past year, I had the opportunity to participate in Penn State's global engagement and leadership experience where international and domestic students spend a weekend together embracing diversity. Through this experience, I learned about new cultures and met friends from all over the world. And as an orientation leader, I'm looking forward to getting to know you all and I'm even more eager to meet you in person. Welcome to Penn State. And I'd now like to pass it to my friend, Aphrodite. Thank you so much, Lexi. Hello, Penn State class of 2024. Welcome to this incredible university. My name is Aphrodite, and I'm here to tell you that what you bring into this community with your passion, experience, and culture is unparalleled. The impact you're about to have on this entire Penn State community will be significant. And I say that from personal experience. When I first came in as a freshman, I was unsure about a lot of things, and you may be too. But then I went to the involvement fair an exhibition of all the clubs at Penn State and joined the Penn State student government. And here I am two years later, growing myself and helping the Penn State community grow. And I'm sure you can too. So we're very excited to have you join us. Take it away, Nofal. Thank you, Aphrodite. Hello, Penn State class of 2024. My name is Nofal and I came a long way from Indonesia to find my journey at Penn State. I remember the first day of orientation and realize this is a place of diversity. I will never thought that studying civil engineering will also mean pursuing my interest in intercultural learning, where on my campus, I have the opportunity to host the Diwali festival and celebrate it with friends from all over the world. Surely Penn State for me means to find my self identity and celebrate others. 
I will personally welcome you to this wonderful community. I will give it back to Jennifer. Thank you all so much. It is great to hear your stories and your experiences. One thing you will quickly realize is that Penn State University is a large institution that has campuses across the Commonwealth, or right here as we call it, Pennsylvania, our home state. So to help introduce you to the network of support that we have created for you, here is a map to illustrate Penn State campuses and how we group them in regions. The GECs, or Global Engagement Coordinators, on my staff were created to support international students at each of the campuses. Global Education Coordinators are here to assist you as an international student with acclimation to the university and to the United States. We also want to help you engage with your cohorts of fellow domestic students, and we want to support all Penn State students with global learning and global competency development. So we're gonna begin in the Southwest region of the state of Pennsylvania, where the campuses of Beaver, Fayette, Greater Allegheny, New Kensington, and Shenango campuses, we have our very own GEC Johnny Marcolini. Moving east towards what we call the upper central region of the state, we have Altoona and Du Bois campuses. Dana Brem is our GEC for that region. And the Bering campus near Lake Erie, up in the northwest, is served by Ricky Hay. Next, we have the Capitol campus in Pennsylvania's state capital, Harrisburg. And that is served by our very own Anna Marshall. Then we shift to the central region with both York and Montalto campuses, who are served by Sherry Yoder. And near Philadelphia, Olga Moskaleva serves our Abington and Brandywine campuses. And moving further north towards New Jersey, we have several campuses including Berks, Hazleton, Lehigh Valley, Schuylkill, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, and they are all served by our very own Ryan Geiger. And back here at University Park in the middle of the state, is where it all started in 1855. Our team at University Park includes not only my staff, Leanne Ryder and Richard Spicer, but almost 100 colleagues in global programs to make sure your start with Penn State is a good one. In addition to global engagement coordinators, we have a team of international student advisors led by my colleague, Masame Asaf, who is the Director of Student and Scholar Advising. Masame has over 30 years of hands-on experience in international student and scholar advising. She is without a doubt the most knowledgeable person at Penn State when it comes to visa and immigration issues. You will be very happy to have her on your side, supporting all of the legal processes that are needed to stay in the United States. And it is now my pleasure to hand over the podium to Masame Asaf. Good morning, or perhaps good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you are. As Jennifer Campbell said, I am Masame Asaf, Director of International Student and Scholar Advising, commonly called DISA. I want to welcome you to Penn State, as everyone else has. DISA is responsible for Penn State's immigration sponsorship for students, faculty, and researchers who are coming to the university. We manage the university's relationship with the US and state government regarding your status in the United States. We have a dedicated and highly experienced staff of professionals who provide expertise and leadership on visa and immigration regulations, as well as a broad range of issues affecting international students. Since many issues have an immigration impact, we work closely with academic advisors, university leaders, and other partners across the university to support our students. One thing you do need to remember is that our mission is to do everything possible to help you succeed. And with that, I will introduce our key staff. The first person I'd like to introduce is Susan D'Amico, who is DISA's Associate Director. She works closely with me on DISA operations, policy, and outreach, as well as supervising the international student advisors. 
The first group of people that you have met or will be meeting are our pre-arrival advising staff who are working very hard to process initial I-20s and DS-2019s and by advising you through the initial stages. The pre-arrival manager is Nicole Franklin and the pre-arrival advisors are Jessica Johnston and Margaret Snyder. After you arrive, the DISA team you will work most closely with are the international student advisors, or sometimes referred to as ISAs, who will work with you from the time you arrive at Penn State through post-degree practical training, which could be up to three years after you graduate. Clearly a core responsibility is immigration. You have met Jennifer's team of the GECs across the Commonwealth. We also have a team of international student advisors across the Commonwealth and here at University Park. <laughs> the ISAs work closely and collaboratively with many offices at Penn State and they are your bridge with those offices. Beginning in the Southwest region, you see Johnny Marcolini again, who serves as both a GEC and an ISA. Then we moved east to Altoona and Dubois campuses, which are served by Candy Smuziak. In the Northwest near Lake Erie is the Barron campus and that campus is served by an ISA, Barbara Zarnick. The capital of Pennsylvania is Harrisburg and the Harrisburg campus in Middletown is served by Cindy Domingo. Moving south, we have York and Mount Alto campuses served by Heidi Decker. The Abington, Brandywine and Great Valley campuses are served by Dagmar Karnowski and Ryan Geiger, who you've also met as a GEC support students in, North, in the Northeast region, which includes Berks, Hazleton, Lehigh Valley, Schuylkill, Scranton, and Wilkes-Barre campuses. And back at University Park in Center County, where I am based, our team of ISAs here is to support you. And they include Brian Algio, Chisato Tata, Davina Cottrell, John Uten, Megan Lang, Sandy Duvernol, Stuart Combs, who is also the advisor for sponsored students, and Joe Miller. On behalf of everyone in DISA, we all want to welcome you to Penn State. Thank you, Masame, and the entire network of support here at University Park and across the Commonwealth. I'm getting excited. I'm so thrilled that you guys have met everyone. You know who's here to help you, and I love what's going on in the chat. So keep it up. Now, this is just the beginning of your journey. So remember, this is specific programming just for international students. However, the university has also put together programming for online orientation, and it includes several components. You have your welcome with Dr. Barron, then you move into working with a Canvas course, which is going to introduce you to our online platform that supports our classes. Then you'll move into working with an academic advisor. It's very important that you go to those academic advisor sessions. And then you close with registering for your classes. And then last but definitely not least, we will come back and spend time with you to answer any specific questions you may have. So orientation takes several days and there are several requirements. So this is your first test as a student to get all those things done in a timely manner to make sure you're registered and ready to begin with Penn State this fall. Now next we're going to shift so that you can meet other Penn Staters, your orientation leaders and staff. This is going to take place in two Zoom meetings. So I'm gonna test you real quick. If you're from University Park, then you're gonna stay right here in this Zoom meeting and we'll move you into smaller breakout rooms in just a second. If you're from any of the other campuses, which we call Commonwealth campuses, you'll want to sign out of this meeting, sign into that meeting and make your way over there. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. We're gonna place the QR code up on the screen as well as the chat, the link in the chat box. So let's take a pause 
and everybody make your way to your specific meeting. You pee, you stay right here. And for my Commonwealth campuses, you'll head over to the other Zoom meeting. Now, once you arrive, you'll be given other instructions and placed into smaller breakout rooms, specifically with the OLs that you've been introducing yourself to in the chat. Penn State is a large institution, but I promise you we're a small community. So enjoy the rest of your orientation, and I'll see you in your new meeting space. Take care, and thanks for joining us.